Well, I've been following the news reports over the weekend about more than 100 people taken to local hospitals who attended the Electric Daisy Carnival. I knew it was a huge event, 180-some thousand people attending. So I'd been keeping my eye on it as something to talk about as a cultural story. But then when we had the medical aspect of it, it took on a whole other dimension. We for our listeners who attended the event, they said they loved the fact that they were able to go to hear the music and to be in that kind of a, of an environment where it's really, it's group ecstasy. And I don't mean the drug when I say, I mean an ecstatic cultural experience. Some people took ecstasy to get a, an added feeling of that, but a lot of other people we heard from didn't do that. And so, you know, what they talked about were that there were significant numbers of people who were using ecstasy to heighten the experience, but that other people weren't. So we got this tremendous mix. And, you know, for a lot of our listeners, they made the point that, yeah, there were people that were using ecstasy and, and they felt that there was a responsible way to do that. Now, the emergency room physician from California Hospital Medical Center, who'd seen so many patients, uh, over those evenings, he said, you know, ecstasy is a dangerous drug. It really, it, it really isn't safe. And people may delude themselves into thinking that they can use it safely, but there can be a lot of bad effects from it. And you know, particularly on a hot night, people get dehydrated. The effects of the drug may be greater than they anticipated. We were going to do a follow-up program the next day after the 15-year-old girl who'd been in intensive care at the time that we did the original interview after she died. And we wanted to talk with members of the Coliseum Commission, with the LA County Board of Supervisors, but they were not available to talk with us that following morning. We didn't feel without their voices that we could really advance the story because our listeners had had spoken quite strongly from a variety of perspectives. You know, I suppose we could have followed up with a segment after the death of the girl to see if that emotional component of it was different. Uh, when we did the original conversation, she was in a critical condition, in intensive care, as was another individual. So we certainly knew that there was the threat that one or both of them could be lost in subsequent hours or days. But perhaps the emotional impact of a 15-year-old losing her life at this event might have changed some minds or might have had a, a, a stronger response among listeners. It certainly did among the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. It certainly did among the Coliseum Commissioners uh, as, as that additional impact of the death, I think, factored into their response to the event.